go. Ooh. Open sesame. Awesome. Everybody off the bus. Wow. Very cool. Check it out. This video is not sponsored by Air Asia, but it could be. last call for the plane so we have to rush to get to the next terminal because they switched us to another terminal uh, okay B9 where's B9 this is an interesting experience <laughs> okay run 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 we can't miss this flight I'm on my way to the BKK airport here in Bangkok. I'm just about to catch the, the rail line, which will take me straight to the airport. It's about seven stops. And uh, really enjoyed my time here. I'm headed back to Phuket for another week or two for business meetings and to renew my visa. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that at the immigration office in Bangkok. And uh, so I just got a plane ticket back to Phuket. It was only about a thousand baht, roughly $30. Okay, so I just bought my token and now I can go straight to... There we go. Cup of crop. Now this will take me straight to the airport. Ah. I'm gonna miss Bangkok, but uh, I plan on coming back again very soon. Everyone's wearing face masks and staring at their phones. That's just the city life. Look forward to getting back to an island where there's more freedom again. All right. Ah, plenty of seats available. That's good news. That means I can sit down and take my heavy backpack off my shoulders. That's pretty cool. All right. Airport is huge. And it's mostly empty right now due to the extenuating circumstances. Should be a quick, pretty quick flight to um, Phuket. Get that. I just need to find the check in counter for Air Asia. I already checked in my baggage and everything is taken care of. 
Wow, sure is empty. They have uh, signs on all the seats for social dis distancing. <sighs> oh, okay, I might just be able to check in here. Should be able to do this. Mm, I don't see Air Asia. I already checked in online anyway. So it should be good to go. It's a really nice airport. I flew in here from Phuket just over a week ago, and now I'm going back to get my visa renewal stamp and for some business meetings. So, ah, oh, here we go, Air Asia. Oh, should do the trick. Okay. Sorry, I, I just need to check in. I go to Phuket. Ah, uh, Phuket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phuket. Over here? Okay. Okay. Oh, right here. All right. Oh, great. Thank you. So I can check in here. Ah. Okay, so now I'm on my way to the boarding gate. And the interesting thing is I didn't have to go through any sort of TSA prep or they didn't check my baggage or anything, which is very unusual. I would think, especially with all the security precautions now, that they would uh, check the baggage. So maybe I have to do that up ahead. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, pretty convenient. And now I got my ticket back to Phuket inside my passport here. So should be about an hour and a half. It's not gonna take very long. Uh, Phuket is the largest island in Thailand, so, oops. So I've spent quite a bit of time there already for about a month between Koh Samui and Phuket. Both islands are, you know, incredibly empty right now because there's no foreign tourists, um, which is, so it's a very challenging time for a lot of people living on the islands, but hopefully I can help as much as possible while I'm there um, with hotel marketing and, and that sort of thing. That's my goal. And also start making some money too, which would be really nice. I can get my work permit. All good things. <sighs> All right. I would assume that I have to do some sort of bag checkage up ahead. Mm, not entirely sure, because they shouldn't just let me go through without checking my baggage. My hiking bag is exactly 19 kilometers, so it's right under the weight limit required. I'm in gate, my plane leaves from gate B2. So let's see here. It's a really nice airport though. They have a lot of uh, shops. Ooh, oh, nice, check this out. They have uh, DJI, they have DJI and GoPro products here. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything right now. My funds are already running pretty low. Pretty much living off the paycheck that I got from this previous, my previous employer. Okay, let's see. I go to B, I guess B2 is, ah, okay. B2 is this way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I don't have to go through any, any baggage check, which is very unusual especially given the circumstances. I'm not complaining, though. Okay, so let's see. My flight leaves at 1.20. It's there at the top. As you can see, a lot of the flights... Um, well, it looks like most of them are, are still... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them that are canceled. To Koh Samui. Yeah. Not surprising, given the circumstances. Okay, I'm almost to my departure gate, and uh, I'm also going to get some video boarding the plane. Sorry, go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's a really nice airport, though. So it's about an hour outside of Bangkok City, downtown. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah, this makes sense. I have to go through the security checkpoint. Of course! Why would they just let me go without checking my baggage? Wouldn't make any sense. 
Okay, I gotta turn off my turn off my video recorder, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, check this out. Oh, pretty cool. It's kind of a foggy, cloudy day here in Bangkok. It's still rainy season. But uh, let me see uh, and zoom in on this. Check that out. Pretty cool. Look forward to going back to Phuket at least for a week or two. And then I'll probably come back to Bangkok and possibly go to Chiang Mai. Okay, so here's a security checkpoint. I'm gonna have to turn off my recording device, obviously. It's another rainy day here in Bangkok. Just about to board the plane to Phuket. Here we go. Open sesame. Awesome. Everybody off the bus. Wow. Very cool. Check it out. This video is not sponsored by Air Asia, but it could be. Perfect, perfect. Seat number 22A. Alright. Got quite a few passengers on the plane. 22A. Thanks for watching another episode of Digital Nomad Ventures. That's going to be about an hour and a half to Phuket. I'm also going to be recording lots of video content there to show what life is like on the island during this world pandemic. The economy is really suffering. A lot of people are out of work and the island is, is pretty empty. But I'm optimistic about the future and uh, hopefully I can help some of my business partners there. Uh, revitalize the economy in Phuket. That's one of the reasons I'm going back. I'll probably stay for a week or two and then come back to Bangkok. So stay tuned for future travel updates from Thailand and uh, make sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll, I'll be updating you soon. Peace from Thailand. Stay safe.